Electric heat. A lot of people have it. A lot of people don't understand the basics of baseboard heating. And we're going to talk about convection heating. Sure, there's radiant heating and uh, a number of different types of boiler units that are hot uh, water that's heated with electricity. But we're going to talk about the basic baseboard convection type of unit. Now, convection unit means that the air is brought into the bottom through convection currents up through the heating core and then through warmth, the warm air rises and on up into the room. I get questions like, why are they always installed under the window shell? They interfere with my drapes and they just don't look good. Well, the reason why they're there, because as those convection currents come in and they're warmed, that warm air rises now up in front of the window, warming that cool air that's radiating in from that uh, cold glass during the winter months. And also, that's the answer why you have a lot of black staining right above the baseboard heaters on the wall. And uh, why that is? That warm, moist air now, because the air that comes down to the floor is now heavy and is laden with moisture, relative humidity, unless you control the moisture in your home. And now that's heated, and up through the unit it comes. As it breaks above the, uh, the baseboard heater, that cold wall now and that warm, moist air, you get condensation. This is a thin film on the wall, and what else to pick up? all the dust particles in the air and that gives you that dark look and that should be cleaned off once a year certainly don't shut the heater off thinking that you're going to burn the home down because there's nothing to do with that at all now baseboard heaters convection units are controlled by thermostats individual in most cases throughout the home in each room this is a uh, hardwired unit it's a bimetal strip unit meaning that inside there's a metal strip that as the temperature rises in the home it'll expand and as it expands it'll expand to the point that the the points will break, that's the contacts, and shutting the unit off. Not really efficient. In fact, uh, not efficient at all if you were to take it and compare it with the electronics today that are available. Why? The reason why, because once your room is that warmth that you want, then it shuts off. Now it cools down and has to cool down and wait for that bimetal strip to cool down in order to contract to, again, contact and turn the unit on. So you got this in your heating cycle, up and down, up and down. Now, yes, you can control your baseboard heaters with uh, programmable thermostats. These here, you can set them up so you can have temperatures uh, during the day warmer than in the evening hours. And therefore, turning it down the evening hours is going to reduce the cost of energy. But uh, here is one here by the Honeywell people called the Ultrastat. This is very, very unique. I'll just uh, point this out with my nail set here. As you can see here, the little houses uh, that are shown here uh, with uh, a body and without a body, as you can see here, with a body and without a body. And without the darkness, this is daytime, daytime, nighttime, nighttime. Now, this particular unit here, you can set the temperature that you want when you're in the room during the daytime and also when you're in the room during the nighttime and also with and without you, daytime and nighttime. Now, this unit will sense you because it's got a motion detector on it. And that motion detector now senses when you're in the room. So therefore, you've got temperatures being controlled 24 hours a day when you're there and when you're not there. Now, just before I get into the different types of heaters here, I want to show you one thing in behind. Maintenance of baseboard heaters. Never take your vacuum cleaner and run it on the inside trying to clean in behind that faceplate because that's what happens. These are very fragile, these little fins. And these little fins are what really are your heating uh, fins to warm up the air. So therefore, now you've got the convection currents working within your room. And if they're not uh, running perpendicular, then you're not going to have the efficiency that you want. Now, this particular unit here is a convector unit. This is electronically controlled, but it's got a cast aluminum uh, grill for a heater. Very, very uh, um, efficient and also very durable as far as vacuuming because you should vacuum these units once a year, always when you're doing that uh, fall cleaning before winter season. Now, the electronic thermostat allows that temperature to be uh, well, it allowed this to turn up, so therefore it comes up to that 54-inch level. That's that comfort zone. But as soon as it gets to that point, that's your comfort. That's where you want it. But this unit senses it even before it ever leaves the grill. So once it gets uh, uh, to the point that you're comfortable, it's going to shut the, uh, the, uh, the, the heating core off, which is the element. And then as soon as it, uh, it senses that it's cooling down again, it'll turn it off. So it's all controlled by microchip, like a computer on the inside. So very, very slight uh, change as far as uh, uh, temperature cold and warm. So it's very efficient. In fact, you can save up to 30% on this particular unit using electronic thermostats. And you can set the, uh, the units in the home uh, to come on and off whenever you have it programmed day and night. 
So it's really an energy efficient unit, but also you pay for it when you install it because you, you know, it's like everything else today. Good, better, best, you pay for the best, you do get the efficiency as well. Now this unit here is a culprit. This is a unit here, it's a 1500 watt uh, ceramic heater. And I certainly suggest under no circumstance to use this for support heat unless it's just for an hour or two in the evening to warm up uh, your feet when you're lounging by the, uh, the TV. But if you're using it as a support unit 24 hours a day, it's going to cost you a lot of money. So 1,500 watts, that's 15 amps, so 15 amp circuit where you got it plugged in, totally loaded. So for support, yes, but certainly not for uh, heating for any length of time. Well, there you have it. I hope that gives you some some good uh, factual information that we help you in uh, maintenance as well as controlling electric convection type of heat.